Good morning, good morning. From Chicago, the risk management capital of the world. I'm Alan Nuckman here at the CME Group with the Morning Market Stir for Monday, December the 12th. What a week it was, 3% up in the stock indexes. Friday, the markets continued and closed on their highs, all-time forever highs in the S&P and the, and the Dow, up about half or three quarters percent. The NASDAQ, starting to play ball a little bit, up 3.3% last week. So it did get back the loss from the week previous, but did not make new all-time highs yet from way back when, October 25th. So last week we had crude oil down 18 cents on the week, which was interesting after making new highs, had a lower close, keep an eye on that. Gold lost $15, and the euro currency backed off 100 points, even though it did get up to 108 uh, with Draghi on Thursday, gave up those gains and sold off, was below the 106 level, bouncing back a bit. So where do the markets stand here on this Monday morning after that very positive action? Well, stocks are pretty unchanged right now. e mini s and uh, going nowhere. The Dow futures up 10 and the Nasdaq's down 15. Again, within striking distance, but not quite taking out those highs at 49 and change in the NDX. Right now, gold is unchanged, but the mover of the morning is crude oil. Crude oil is up 4%. We're at 53.50 right now in the front month contract. Got as high as 54.50, so closing on $55 after the OPEC, non-OPEC agreement for more production cuts, uh, boosting that crude oil market. So looking at other markets right now, we want to focus on the Fed this week, Wednesday afternoon. We're going to get that rate hike announcement, but that's got the bond market continuing to go lower, taking out those relative lows. And if I look at the yield right now, we're at 3.18%. Holy cow in the 30 years so rates keep going up up and more up but in looking at the dollar the dollar's not making new highs just yet it's still below the 102 level around 101 and that euro currency is back above 106. so to summarize where we stand here with about half an hour to go before the cash stock market open stocks are steady after the record close on friday right now the e mini s p is down one the nasdaq's down 15 and the dow futures up 15. The story also to keep an eye on is China's down 2.5% over, overnight to put a little bit of pressure on our U.S. market. Alan Uckman here at the CME Group, where it all comes back to commodities.